Hello everybody, Aziz here, and in this week's post, I wanted to show you how to use Prosper's rotation script to split test your landing pages. So let's get started. Now let's say I have an offer for Richmond. On POF, as a rule of thumb, you're going to want to use a landing page. But before deciding on which landing page you use, you should always split test and see which lander yields the best results. So here, I have a basic mimic of our offer page. Very simple. And here, I have a much more detailed lander that looks very little like the offer page. So before I decide on which lander I would like to stick with, or at the very least, grow from, I'm going to split test using a nice rotation script provided by all of our friends at Prosper. Now, with this script, you can choose to rotate between as many landing pages as you'd like while keeping track of important things like keywords and other variables that you would need for tracking and optimizing. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen this before, but may have been confused as to how to properly use it and set it up. So pay close attention because I'm going to show you how to do just that. So the first thing we're going to do is save all of this as a PHP. So I'm just going to go up to File, Save As, Richmond, go F for Female, and then 1825 US. Something that I can remember later on for my click-through URL in Plenty of Fish. We'll just save that as a PHP. And I'll hit save. Now that I have my script saved, I'll begin editing it so that it knows which landers to rotate. But first, I need to design a structure for my landers. So as you can see here, I have three folders. One called DL, one called LP1, and one called LP2. Now I'll come back to DL, but in LP1 and LP2, I have two different landers. So in the LP1 folder, I've appended the image folder and the style sheet, as well as both PH files with LP1. I've also done the same thing to LP2. Now you can name your index, redirect, style sheets, and image folders, whatever you'd like. But as you'll find later on, it's very important that you keep things organized and simple. Once we've organized our folders and files, we now need to make sure that all of our tracking scripts are placed properly for each lander. You're going to want to set this up the same way you would if you weren't split testing and if you're just running a normal lander page without a rotation. So just as a quick reminder, in Prosper in uh, step 4, after you've selected your networking campaign, you want to make sure you include a nickname for the LP that's going to be easy for you to understand so that when you go back and break down which landing page was more effective in your analyze tabs, you can easily discern between what was successful and what wasn't. Next, under landing page URL, you want to set up the URL so it matches the directory in your server. So since this is actually going to be my landing page number one, as you can see, I have index LP1, which matches the folder that I had shown you previously. I've also done the same thing for my second landing page, which I've nicknamed Mimic Lander, and in the URL I have index LP2, which again matches the system that I used when I set up my index, redirect, style, and images folder. Once we've set up the nicknames and the URLs in Prosper, then we can begin to insert our LP codes into the appropriate files. If you're not sure as to how you should do this, just refer back to our previous post on our walkthrough into how to set up a campaign in POF and everything should be laid out for you. Now that I have all my tracking in place, I'm just going to paste all of my information under one final directory. Now you may be asking yourself, what about that folder back there that said DL? Well this folder is actually reserved for direct linking. Now because Prosper's rotation script doesn't include direct linking, I had to incorporate a script that I had found which acts as a pseudo lander that immediately redirects the user to the offer page. Now in order to track all the proper data, we're going to treat this lander page like it's an actual lander. So when we open it up here, although we don't really have any content, we want to make sure that we include the inbound JavaScript that we grabbed from Prosper. So to do that, we're just going to go back into Prosper and grab that landing page detail just like we would with any regular landing page. 
So here we'll just go to generate tracking link and put this script right above our body tag. Like I said, just like if we had had a actual landing page present. Then we're going to do the same thing with our outbound JavaScript. With this, now we can actually split tests between direct linking and multiple landing pages. Now that we have all of our files in line, we can begin to upload them into our server. But before I do that, I'm just quickly going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder uh, richmanf 1825 because this is the directory that I used when I was first setting up my landers. I'm going to put all of that into here. And now I can just easily open up my FileZilla and I can simply place the folder into the directory. Now when we click on that directory we just created, we see that everything is under one big directory. This is important when using the script uh, because if you don't do this, it won't work properly. This is also why it's important to make sure you denote which index belongs to which landing page. Now that we have all of the names of our index PHPs, we can begin to insert each PHP into our rotation script. So over here, in landing page 1, we're going to just change this to index LP1. For landing page number 2, we'll change this to index LP2. And for landing page 3, we're just going to change this to index DL.php. Those names, of course, match up with our landing pages that we just created. Next, we'll just insert a simple count.txt file, which is going to keep our rotation in order. And now we're ready to move on to our final step, which is the tracking link for our rotation script. So to do this, I'm just going to go back into Prosper. And this LP nickname, I'm just going to name it rotation script. And for the landing page URL, I'm going to keep everything the same, except in this last part for the PHP, I'm going to name this PHP the same thing as what I named it here in our directory. That way, whenever someone is directed to this URL, they will immediately be brought to one of the three other landing pages that we just created. Once I've added this, I can go to Get Links. And once I put in the information that I would like, along with any other tokens I'd like to pass through, I can go to Generate Tracking Link. And now I have a link that I can use that I will put in under the Click Through URL section of POF whenever uploading a new image. Now if you have any questions on the last part, just again refer back to our previous post on our walkthrough through how to set up a campaign in POF and again, everything should be laid out for you. Now you'll find that whenever someone clicks on this link, they will be immediately brought to one of the landers that you provided in your rotation script. Well guys, I hope this answered any questions you had about how to split test between landing pages and direct linking. If you have any further questions, please comment below in the comment section or feel free to email me. Well, thank you for watching everybody. Uh, and please stay tuned for the next post by us here at iPixel. Thank you and take care.